Hi, I'm Dan from QuickTap, and today we're going to go over the proper way to fill our 12 ounce CO2 tank that comes with each QuickTap unit. The QuickTap fill station comes with two components the fill station itself and a digital scale. Before we get started, we want to make sure to have a few things set up. First, we're going to make sure the digital scale is configured correctly. Push the power button. And this scale does come with an auto tear feature that we want to turn off. To turn off, hold down the tear button for two seconds until the off is displayed. Next, push the unit button until it gets to the ounces display. Now we're going to attach the fill station to the siphon CO2 tank. Be sure to use the washer that's provided with the fill station to secure fit. A couple things before we get filling. We are using a siphon CO2 tank. What that means is that there is a dip tube that goes down to the bottom of the CO2 tank and pulls the liquid CO2 up through the fill station and into our CO2 tank. Now we're going to attach the CO2 tank to the ASA securely. And turn the ASA knob to the open position. Be sure that the CO2 knob and the bleed valve knob are all the way secure tightened. Since the CO2 tank is at room temperature, we're going to have to chill the tank. We're going to do this by filling it up halfway, around 5 to 6 ounces, and then releasing 4 or 5 ounces to get the chilling effect. There we are at 6 ounces. We're going to shut it down. We're going to bleed 4 to 5 ounces out to get our chilled tank. We're then going to close the bleeder valve, open up fully the CO2 tank, and fill to our 12 ounces. Once we get to 12 ounces, we turn off the CO2 tank securely. We then turn the ASA knob to the closed pin position, bleed out the remaining CO2 in the line. Disconnect from the ASA, and you're ready to start pouring.